even when I'm sitting here doing this shit, I still feel the fear and I still have to talk myself into it, you know? But you know what made me start to do it? You know what made me like, because the fear didn't disappear. Hey, it's Zana. So I'm gonna open up a little bit to you because for the longest time, I wanted to film these YouTube videos. I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I wanted to make music, release music. I wanted to do covers. I wanted to do so many goddamn things that involved being public and putting yourself out there, you know? Like I wanted to do this shit for absolute years. And when I say years, I mean years. <laughs> like if I'd have put out my first YouTube video when I wanted to, it would have been I think like 2011, maybe even earlier than that. It was absolute years ago that I wanted to do this. And then earlier on today, I was speaking to a girl on my DMs and Instagram. I don't know if I worded that right. That sounded really weird. In what? So earlier today, I was speaking to a girl on Instagram in my DMs and she asked me what, um, like how I got confident enough to put myself out here. And it got me thinking like, I wasn't still kind of not still have to talk myself into doing it you know like this battle is so huge for so many people so I wanted to come on and make a video about like what kind of got me through that but also like why we hold ourselves back because believe me even when people are doing it even when people are filming the videos even all the youtubers that you see even all of the people that make music like the top artists from fucking Beyonce Michael Jackson whoever like all of these people that do these things, do you really think that they don't feel fear? You know, like, do you think that all of these people literally, like, are fearless and they just live the best life and they just, they don't feel no emotion at all and they just go out and they do what they want to do and they live incredibly and they're, like, not human? <laughs> you know? Like, all of us, every single person, I don't care who the fuck you are, every person struggles with something and every person feels something negative at some point in their life you know everyone goes through shit everyone is dealing with something and even when people get on their cameras and they film incredible videos and they look amazing it does not mean that they're not scared shitless okay some people of course they've worked through their fears maybe they um were raised and like in a way that made them very confident like everyone has different circumstances but what i'm trying to say is that even when you're doing it and i can only talk for myself really because this is my own experience even when i'm sitting here doing this shit i still feel the fear and i still have to talk myself into it you know but you know what made me start to do it you know what made me like because the fear didn't disappear I just started to perceive things differently and you know what that thing was is that I realized that this whole world is built upon perception this whole world is just opinion you know so like there's people that you may look up to there's people you may admire even down to your parents but what every single person is expressing is just their opinion it's just their perception and when you realize that that literally is what this world is built upon that is what everyone is sharing then you realize there's no fear and no reason to not share yours because it's exactly the same you know, like we're all equal. And for some reason we keep idolizing people and I do it too. We idolize people and we view them as like more worthy than us or better than us or more deserving than us. You know, like we might view them as like they're a God when really they're just a person too. And we all are just living based upon our p opinion. And how is an opinion of, I can't speak, what the fuck? How is an opinion even formed in the first place? It's literally formed based upon your experiences. That's it, you know? So like your experience with what your parents told you and what they taught you was right and wrong. Your experience when you watch a TV show, your experience when you go to school and you like experience um, connecting with other children and their opinions based upon their upbringing. You know, it's just interacting with people and your life's experiences. That's what forms your opinion. So if everybody's doing that same thing and everybody's sharing their opinion, then what is there to be afraid of? And that doesn't mean that the fear will disappear because even now I understand this and I still feel the fear, you know, because fear is just a part of the human experience, especially with the fucked up conditioning that we've now got, you know, with the comparing each other, 
comparing each other, comparing ourselves to each other, you know, like standards of beauty, the standards of what success looks like, all of these different things instill more insecurity and more fear. It's just fear. So especially in today's world, there's a lot more fear and there's a lot more holding back and opinions can also be more like aggressive and more like forced upon us you know because people will get on their social media accounts and they'll troll each other and they'll like cuss each other out and be disgusting towards each other so there's a lot more like exposure and an opportunity to receive hate and have people not like your opinion you know but it's still an opinion it's still just based on every single person's perception so there is really nothing holding you back but yourself but your own fear and that's what i realized for me I could spend forever, literally forever, because I did spend years, I could spend forever fearing what other people would think of me, what they'll think of my music, what they'll think of my videos, what they'll think of my opinion and what I have to say, because at the end of the day, these videos are just my opinion. Like, even my music is just my opinion of thinking that it's good, you know? It's just my perception that even allowed me to create the lyrics and the melodies and the beat in the first place, you know? So, like, that's all coming from my own mind. So I could spend forever fearing what somebody else's mind will say about mine and about my physical manifestations of that expression. I can feel what they'll think about it, but it doesn't change that they're going to think something, you know? Because as soon as you see something, your mind instantly creates a thought, whether you like the thing that you're witnessing or not. Your mind just does it. But some people choose to take that thought even further and then comment some negative bullshit on it when they could just scroll past it, you know? That's the difference. So it's like, do you want to spend the rest of your life not doing the thing that you want to do because you're worried about what they're going to think? But you worrying about that is not going to change the fact that they're going to think something. It's not going to change the fact that everyone forms an opinion, you know? You form an opinion. You could create something and hate what you've just created. You could film a video and hate what you've just filmed. But that's just your opinion. Then somebody else could watch it and think it's incredible. Because it's just perception. It's just opinion. And it doesn't mean anything. And I think that's the key thing I realise is it doesn't mean anything. Like it really doesn't. Because who decides what's right and wrong? Who decides what's good and what's bad? Like who? What higher power? What is there that says it? You know, like people can agree and then that makes it seem bigger than what it is because uh, like when something goes viral, it's a collection of people all agreeing on that same thing or sharing that same opinion that then makes it seem like that's the right answer or that's the right thing, you know? But it doesn't mean it's right. And it doesn't mean it has any value just because a few people agree, you know? Like, it's just perception. And the only value that it has is the value that you give to it. And if it's something that you really want to do, like, if you're following your heart then what the hell does it matter what anyone else has to say or what they think or what their mind is going to tell them? Like, who cares? Because at the end of the day, it's about what your mind tells you because your mind is the only one you can hear and is the only one that's yours, the only one you have control over, the only one that's a part of your experience that actually matters, you know? And I know this is really easy to say and much, much harder to do, but to be honest, like... The only thing that ever, ever gets in our way is our own mind, is our own perception. So in order to move past it, you have to change your mind. You have to shift your perspective. You have to look at it differently. And that literally is the same with absolutely everything in life. Because the world is built upon perception because we are consciousness. You know, and what is consciousness? Consciousness is pure information. It's pure data. And it's beyond this physical vessel. So when you realise your power, the fact that you are pure consciousness, you're not this one experience. This is not the only lifetime that you've had. You've probably been here many, many times over in different vessels as different people with different family members, you know? And yet you're going to let fucking Sally down the road stop you from posting the videos that you want. You know? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, who cares what they have to say about it? Because you're following your path and that's why you came here. You didn't come here to just sit in silence and please everybody else, you know? And oftentimes, a lot of our paths and a lot of our purposes 
are going against the grain, they are facing the fear, they are against the norms of what society says, you know, that is kind of the whole point of this experience, otherwise there'd be nothing for you to learn. If it was easy, there would be no reason to be here because you wouldn't learn anything, you wouldn't expand, you wouldn't remember the fact that you were God in a vessel. So there would be no point. So no, it's not easy, but yes, it is necessary. Yes, it is powerful. And yes, you should damn well do it, okay? <laughs> Did I cover everything? I feel like um, while I'm here, I might as well just go on a full blown rant about the fact that you should get out of your own way because I spent years in my own way. Let me tell you, I released my first song in September 2018 so we are now in June so it's not even been a year when did I start vocal lessons I was 13 we've been doing this for a long long time <laughs> and it took me this long to release one fucking song you know obviously I've released more than one but like the first one didn't come out until September so it's taken me that long to pluck up the courage to even take the steps to learn how to make music, how to release music, how to write music. It's taken this long to get to the point where now I can release it consistently. Like, and that's not to knock the path because obviously it happens for a reason and it happened in the exact way that I needed it to. But what I'm trying to say is like, the only reason that it took me so long was myself. And it doesn't matter what external exp uh, experiences, it doesn't matter what external circumstances were happening, because of course there's other reasons why I couldn't release when I was 13, like, come on. Of course there was. But at the end of the day, like, if I'd have shifted my mindset back then, maybe I'd have released it years before I did, you know? So everything happens exactly as you need to. And even when the path fucks up, it doesn't matter, like, it's fine and it's exactly what you need and it's always in service of your highest good and when you walk in that knowing like it really will unfold beautifully even when you can't understand why it's happening the way that it's happening but at the same time you are in charge of your growth you are in charge of taking control of your life you are in charge of the direction that you go in you know so you can't just like relax and leave it all to the universe well you should relax oh my god i'm contradicting myself but that is what this life is <laughs> but <laughs> what i'm trying to say is <laughs> you should relax and trust in the path okay but at the same time you need to put in the work that's what i'm trying to say like you've got to put in the work but you've also got to trust and know that it's gonna happen exactly as it's supposed to this whole life contradicts itself it kind of goes against each other but it's the truth and it works and all you need to do is just believe in yourself and that means blocking out everybody else because their opinions are irrelevant because it's just their mind and let's face it our minds chat absolute shit all the time your own mind chats absolute shit to you all the time so you know that your friend your family member the stranger in another country all of their minds do exactly the same thing and you can't take it personally okay and also, if you've been watching my Essene Mirror videos where I break down the universal mirrors and how everything's a reflection of you, the different ways that everything reflects you, if you watch those, you'll realise that actually, like, every opinion that somebody shares about you or about anyone is a reflection of themselves. It really is, because it's triggered something in them that's about themselves. So when you understand that and you know that it happens to you too and then you can elevate your own triggers, you can leave them to worry about their triggers and their bullshit opinions because they're stuck up on ego, you know? Like, if they want to be in their ego reactions, let them be. But you're focusing on you and your path and your purpose and what feels good for you and why you would choose to incarnate in this lifetime, you know? And you're blessed with gifts. Even if you can't figure out what they are right now, you are blessed with some. And if you would get to know yourself and ignore the rest of what everybody else is doing, you would understand exactly what it is that you came here to do, you know? So don't waste your life worrying about other people. Don't waste your life fearing and doubting yourself. You already know exactly what it is that you want to do and exactly why. Otherwise, you won't be watching this video. You already know there's something in your heart that's telling you, I really want to do this thing. I really want to do it, but I'm scared. So trust it. Look at it and analyse why you're scared. And, like, know that it's for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be feeling called to do it. 
and you just need to change your perception you need to shift it and let go of that fear and push through it even though you're feeling the fear because it may not leave completely but you need to push through it anyway because you know exactly why you want to do that thing you know exactly what your purpose is and you walk in that firmly and then your life frees up and believe me when you face those fears and you start doing the thing that you want to do the fears gradually start to lessen you know so now I can release multiple videos in a week and feel good about it, even though I'm slightly kind of terrified, you know? So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment down below if there's any feedback for this video and anything that you want to add, anything that I missed, or any other topics that you also want me to talk about. Definitely leave me a comment because I'm always looking for ideas. I want to help anything that you're going through. So thank you so much for watching. All links to my music, social media will be in the description box below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down. If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around. I need a